We're having a baby dedication this morning. Josiah. How many know of good King Josiah? Huh? He was a good king. Well, he's named after Josiah. might be a relative for all I know. But uh, little Josiah is going to come and get dedicated to the Lord. And we're all going to be responsible, not just the parents, but when we dedicate this child to the Lord, everybody's responsible to be sure to encourage that child to serve God with all their heart. And don't let any of you interfere with that. Woe is you. Okay? I have to put a warning in there somewhere to keep you people on your toes. Training up a child in a way she'll go, and when he grows old, he will not depart. All right? I talked to a person once that was a psychologist. I don't know how true it is. Jennifer probably won't agree. She is a psychologist too. But they said if they're raised with a particular value system, even if they go astray, there is a hopeful tendency that they come back to the original value system that they learned as a child. So they may stray, but they may come back. I say, let's call them back. Let's not may come back. Let's call them back. It's the season of the prodigals, right? Huh? There are many that have known better, that were raised in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. Okay, I'm going to have Josiah come forward with his parents. He's not ready to come by himself yet, but... Give him a week. Let him, let him get the camera. This is his moment in, this is his moment in fame for all our you streamers that are watching. By you stream, this is young Josiah, this is Abby, and this is his father, Sean. And uh, little children were brought to Jesus, were they not? So that he could bless them. And so, uh, for the congregation, children are a heritage of the Lord, committed by Him to their parents for care. And it's very important that you understand this concept, because I deal with this all the time. You are not owners of Josiah. You are stewards. That means God is the owner, and He's placed that child in your care to raise them in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord, and you too will be held accountable for how well you do that. They're stewards, not owners. And the purpose of God for Josiah's life. And we're going to be talking about this in some of the sermons. But basically, God has, pl has a plan for each and every one of us before the foundation of the earth that we would walk in them. Now, you can go your own way, or you can walk in that plan. This day, we're dedicating Josiah to the Lord, and with these parents making a consecrated commitment to train that child in the nurture and admonition of the Lord so that it walks in the plans and the purposes that God has foreordained. That's the purposes. You know, sometimes you want things for your children. Sometimes you want to live your own life through your children. But in reality, God's got a plan for them, and you need to surrender to that. So I'm really making it hard on these parents this morning. <laughs> I don't care about your good ideas. We want a God idea, correct? Good is not God, but God is good. Okay, now if I threw you with that one, let's just pray. In the sight of God, in the presence of these witnesses, do you solemnly undertake to bring this child up in the fear and admonition of the Lord? You do. Okay. Do you promise to lead him in an early age to accept Jesus Christ as Savior? We do. Yeah. Absolutely, I like that answer. Now to the congregation, to the best of your ability, extend a hand toward young Josiah. And we're going to stand together with Sean and Abby. And I want you to all voice, will you stand together with them to do everything in your power to encourage this child in the things of God? I do. Very good. So in the name of the Lord Jesus, we dedicate Josiah to God and to his holy service for the days ahead. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And don't leave yet. Uh, I want to give a prophetic word that be that for young Josiah, and that is that I believe that he's going to be a man of stability and stableness, that when other people are shook, they're going to go to him for counsel. They're going to go to him for stability. They're going to go to him because he's going to be like a rock, and God's going to build upon this young man strength and stability and he's going to be a mentor at a very early age and in many ways wisdom's going to come forth from his mouth to educate the mother and the father 
So those days are approaching to when they get the verbal skills. Be not surprised when the Lord uses the child to lead and guide and direct you in the ways of God. And Josiah, I hear for you, says the Spirit of God, that I have chosen you, I have selected you from your mother's womb. And the Lord says, I will make you mighty in me, and you shall be a light for your generation. And the Lord says, many will follow you. And the Lord says, even from now, I'm anointing your mouth to speak the word of the Lord. And the Lord says, you will take people, and they will follow you, and you will direct people, and they will go where they're supposed to go. And the Lord says that many will come to you to hear the word of the Lord. And I hear prophet to the nations. I hear prophet to the nations, says the Spirit of God. So the Lord says, I rest upon your mouth, and upon your lungs, says God, and upon your tongue, says the Lord, and I will speak my oracles through you, Josiah. Amen. We're going to speak... Just as young Samuel, not a word fell to the ground. We're going to believe that Josiah is going to have the word on his, on his lips at a very early age. And those words are going to come to pass. And they're going to be an encouragement to mom and dad. And they're going to see and understand even their purposes in God are going to be knit together with his destiny and his purpose. And I want to right now, I want to impart, impart the gift of prophecy, the office of prophet, and the gift of writing to Josiah, that your words will be precious from a young age. And the Lord says, you will learn to write. And Lord, the Lord says, some of the first letters and words and phrases you will write will be directly from the Lord. And the Lord says, I have made you a giant in your generation. The Lord says, you may not be tall in stature, the Lord says, but you will be a giant in your generation, a dread champion of God, says the Spirit of God. And I just hear, I just hear he's going to use the arts in all its forms to express the glory of God. Whether it's music, art, dance, whatever God lays upon his heart, he's going to be able to find a way to use it to express the glory of God. Amen. 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 Do we all agree? Let's welcome him. Thank you.